everybody. Um, okay, so, numero uno, am I talking loud enough? Yes. Yes, okay, numero uno, um, I have Adam, aka StrengthNet, kindly recording me once a week to do either training videos or funny videos, um, because my videos weren't exactly great, uh, so he's gonna be helping me out with that. Secondly, today we're gonna be doing uh, a back workout. So usually um, with my training, I do a phase of strength and then I do a phase of hypertrophy. Right now, I'm going through the phase of hypertrophy, so it means more supersets, more isolation. Um, I'm training like four days on, one day off, rather than like every other day, um, and doing less compound. Um, so I'll run y'all through that now. Um, secondly, uh, thank you to everyone who has given me lots of support over the last few days. This is my first day training in a week. Um, it's been super stressful, but things are starting to look up. Um, I'm finding another place, and I just really appreciate everyone who's reached out. Um, it means a lot, and everyone has been so kind, and it's amazing to see that when you're in a moment of stress or um, something like that everyone reaches out you know and they show so much love and especially when you don't know them and you know everyone's a stranger and it's just so nice to have that kind of support so I just thank you all very much and I hope you enjoy my YouTube channel <laughs> okay so um, I'm initially starting off with a Y grip pull down so where your hands are like this on the bar uh, I will be doing 15 reps and then I'm going to go hands under and close and I'll be doing 15 reps for that and then I'm going to be doing a cable lat pull down uh, we're going to work on lats to begin with and then towards the middle and the end of the session we'll be switching to rhomboids middle of the back. Um, I haven't actually used a machine like this before because usually you just have a, a pin that you put inside the hole which I'm used to so I don't really know the weights like this so I'm going to see how we go and see if it works with this weight. I think it's on 30, 30 kg. supersets are a lot harder because not only my grip but also it just stings because it's all isolated in the same area. Aria.
Oh my god. With the pull down, what you want to do is, say you're doing a close grip, so this one under, you're going to be here. But I want you to lock in your shoulders and then pull it down so your chest always stays up. Now I'm not doing that because I have the ability to hold down my shoulders so they're not going to roll back. Um, but a lot of people you can, you bring it out of the socket and then you lock it in and then bring it down because then you're going to use your lats more and your chest, is, your shoulders are going to stay back. That would be my advice for someone who feels like their shoulders are coming forward and they're bringing it down like this. It looks ugly and it is wrong form. I'm going to be doing the front pull down, but I'm actually doing it from the side. So the reason why I do it from the side is because when I bring it down, you're gonna tackle here on your lats. So I'm only gonna be doing this set alone because it's single arm, it's gonna take quite a long time. Um, same way, I'm gonna be doing 15 reps, three sets of that, and then we will move more on to rows. Should we do it? Mm -hmm. Now we flip. We flip it. Flip it. Okay, folks. So after we did three sets of the side pull down, I'm now going to start onto rows. So I'm doing a bent over, bent over barbell row. Um, I'm going to start with it being up here, taking it from the, let's say, platform because when you pick it up from the floor, it's basically like a deadlift, and I don't want to fatigue any other muscle. I want just to pick it up straight from here, and then I get into position. Um, I'm going to be doing again 15 reps on here, three sets because it's a compound lift. Um, and I want every, you know, you saw me at the start when I was doing three, like a tricep, and I fatigue very quickly. So I'm going to be doing these, and then we'll go on to the last two sets, which are rows. Um, and then we'll be done. So I will do this now, and uh, we're Gucci. 15. 10 lift as well so you're not just using your lats and your arms and your shoulders I'm also positioning my core and making sure that I don't rock rock the boat rock the boat so I'm making sure that my body's stiff and my core's tight so it doesn't hurt my lower back and you shouldn't feel this in your lower back and if you do it means that uh, maybe you should do a lot of you should work on your lower back and your core um, 
because your core is what stabilizes you, stops you from rocking. So, back extensions, planks, shit like that. Yo, what's going on? Um, yeah. So, don't do this if you're going to feel your lower back. I do other things like seated row, which I'm going to be doing in a minute. Uh, single arm row, which I'll be doing in a minute. So, there's so many other ways of working on your rhomboids than doing this. This is like more advanced, you know what I'm saying? So, now to finish off, I'm extremely I'm so hungry right now, but <laughs> to finish off, I'm gonna be supersetting this single arm row with a vertical row over there. Um, <laughs> three sets of 15 on each arm. Um, so with the single arm row, I'll show you. So your back should always be straight, like never let it roll like this. A lot of people will let it roll, so make sure your back is straight. Um, and then also when you're rowing up, for example, this is how it should be done. And a lot of people will come like this. It shouldn't do that. Your shoulders shouldn't roll, shouldn't roll it. So, here goes. Someone sprayed perfume. It's going in my lungs. I'm dying. is burning my nostril hair, you know? It's a little bit uncomfortable on the vagina, but it'll do. <laughs> oh. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Sean, what's what you said? Um, okay, so that was my back workout. Um, towards the end, I was getting quite shaky. I'm also very hungry now, so which is a good thing. Um, I will write this workout, what I did, in the description, uh, which you guys can follow. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me, underscore Nicole Drinkwater, on Instagram. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching.